not cut up, but how cute to all these people. Welcome to the next day. May I have your attention please? <laughs> for exercise only. Red parties, red parties, red parties. Deck 4, zone 2, page 3 by Emetros Palat. I repeat, for exercise only. Red parties, red parties, red parties. Deck 4, zone 2, page 3 by Emetros Palat. I have no idea what that meant, but fine. exercise only. Yeah, so we are currently in the port of Naples. So we are officially in Italy. Always been on the bucket list of mine to go to Italy. Tomorrow we are going on Rome and I am like, so excited. Um, it's a bit wet today. We just had breakfast. Um, I've got why my hair's wet. <laughs> I've had a shower. Um, but we had breakfast and um, we can see all the mountains and everything, but it is looking a bit rainy. Um, the plan for today is just to kind of wander around ourselves, maybe look in some shops and stuff. But we're going to have quite a busy day tomorrow because we've got like a 10 hour excursion or something around Rome. Um, we are watching the cruise director's morning show as always. Good old Leslie. Is it Leslie? I think it's... Yes, Leslie. <laughs> wow. There she is. The cruise director's morning show. This is the current situation. We are in Naples. It's a beautiful day. I, I've got my favourite outfit on. Um, <laughs> we are looking amazing, aren't we, Lisa? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they hand out free ponchos, so we're like, you know what, might as well just keep dry and work it. <laughs> they made it off the ship. Um, we got on a little bus and the shuttle for um, the Disney Magic. And I don't know what, I, I don't know, I expected it kind of might have took us to the city centre. <laughs> no, I was on it for like two minutes and it went to like the other side of the port. But we have made it, no idea what we're looking for, but we're gonna Sound try and find some, sh some shops, have a little wander, see some sights, past a castle. Don't know what, what the story is of that one, but you know, <laughs> it'll be an adventure. Pre-film trivia. Love it. Should it introduce it to all cinemas? <laughs> direction the animation was heading in, some of the original marks that were used to set up this storyboard in the frame. Um, so again, these are all directly from our archives, all really from this era where these characters were 
really starting to emerge. Their personalities were really being refined. So what's neat about these, um, if you see this type of you know, image or animation around the ship, the animators that created a lot of what you see were really um, the artists who created the characters in a lot of ways. So you'll see this specific collection only between decks five and eight, but you can also see it in the forward and midship as well. The biggest thing is that the world's very first full-length animated film was released, which was, any idea? Snow White. Snow White in the city. With that in mind, if this is the sun up here on the ceiling, if there was a really loose theme being woven together between all three decks, any idea what it is? Yeah, exactly. It's just really an under the sea look. That's why here on deck five, you do have the blues and greens of the sea, but you also have this splash of the yellow. So the carpeting design appears really meant to be the reflection on top of the ocean. Well, this has been a whirlwind of a day, considering we've not actually like. Well, we didn't anticipate to do much. Um, we had our um, couple of hours outside exploring, I think I mentioned that. And after that, we went to go watch the new Spider-Man film in the cinema. Um, but we realised before watching that um, it would clash with a tour we wanted to do. So we watched the film for two hours <laughs> and then snuck out about 15 minutes before it ended. And then um, and then after that, uh, we went to go to a tour. And I think it was called, was it the... Art of Art of the Show theme? Yeah, Art of the Show theme tour or something. Because I saw it um, briefly the other day, passed by our um by our floor and I wondered what it was. And it's essentially like a tour giving you an insight to like all the design and like the inspiration behind like all the design of the ship in general. Like she talked about the like interior and the exterior of the ship and everything. After that we um bumped into some friends we know of in the cruise so we got a group photo with Minnie Mouse that was cute and then we had a bit of stress with our parlour reservation because basically um, they have um oh what's the word um not revolving what, what do you call it Lisa the type of di the DM dining they have where it like rotate rotational <laughs> I said revolving and <laughs> um, rotational dining basically um, so tonight's our third night and we are scheduled to be in Animator's Palette which is a really looks exciting but we had pre-booked and um, before even getting our like dining rotation um, schedule we had pre-booked reservations for Palo which is the adult exclusive restaurant and um, so we decided to change that but it was a very weird system like basically we went down to guest services this morning had to leave an answering machine message on the phone and they were like oh they'll get back to you and we were like how did they get back to us like do we get a voicemail do they get a note or something on the door and basically I think they changed it to 8 p.m. tonight as opposed to actually giving us the option for like other nights or cancellation or anything so I rushed back and I've managed to sort it so we have a reservation tomorrow at 7.45 and also we've got some bad news because one of our excursions we planned has been cancelled we got this urgent letter at our door so it was the one that Lisa chose um, so we cannot go on the um, port adventure um, when we're in Bavana, so we're going to go and inquire about different adventures or something. Basically it was cancelled because it included a boat ride, like on a smaller boat, and apparently it's going to be inclement weather, so it's cancelled for like safety or something. So that's disappointing, but basically after all that rambling, we've had a great day so far, just jam-packed in the last couple of hours, and we are getting ready right now for the evening show before going to animate this palette even after we've told our lovely waiter, who's called Beethoven, um, we would not be joining tonight because we're at Palo, so that'll cause confusion, I'm sure. But anyway, <laughs> let's relax. I am reporting to you live from a power cut. <laughs> we were just in the middle of um, doing our makeup and everything, literally about two minutes ago I was speaking to you, and the power went out. And we're not alone, because we poked our heads out and everyone else looked a bit confused. I think they have an emergency generator, so I'm not sure what the deal is, but Thankfully we're almost ready, so hopefully my makeup's not going to look wonky. It's not like we were already late. So. <laughs> no, God, we're a mess. Goodbye to Naples. We'll be setting sail. Not sure what time, to be fair, but basically everyone should be on board by now, so probably soon. I think the power's gone in here too, but the lighting's really pretty. <laughs> the stage is there somewhere. This is all a bit intense, really. This is the office of pin trading. Lisa's 
because I'm on the mall. <laughs> but I was a bit scared, so I'm standing back. <laughs> we are back from the show and also the pin trading, which was very intense. Like, I wasn't a part of this. I just kind of had to stand back and let everyone kind of swoop in and like fight for their lives to get the pins they want. Um, Lisa's very happy. She's got quite a good haul of eight new pins. Um, there was also someone who like literally had a suitcase worth of pins. Like, they must have had to pay extra to bring that, but that was crazy. Um, and the show, that was interesting as well. Um, the show was uh, called Walt Disney The Dream Goes On or something like that. And um, it kind of went through um, the years of like, the animation, which was actually very relevant because I've studied a lot of that with, you, with my uni course. So like I'd seen pretty much all the animated shorts that they were showing clips of. Um, so that was really nice. But then there was like random bits where it kind of went through the development of the parks and then the renaissance of Disney in like the 80s and then like this boy band of like four men came out with like white trousers, blue shirts, smoke on the stage and a contemporary dancer as they sang Good Distance from um, Hercules. So that was very 90s or 80s or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah that was interesting. Uh, definitely not like one of you can tell it's not like one of the main shows. I think it's like an extra or something that I think Lisa mentioned it doesn't happen on most ships. Um, and then we have booked a part adventure for um, not tomorrow because we're doing Rome tomorrow, but the day after we are going to Pisa because um, our original one has been cancelled due to the inclement weather. Um, so it's a shorter one we've booked. It's only like four to five hours, which is probably for the best because if it is raining, we won't have to be out as long and also we'll get half the day on the ship still. So we are just chilling for 10 minutes or so until we go about our, our not, not reservation, our dinner at <laughs> Animator's Palette, which I'm very excited about because it's kind of like a show as you eat. It starts off all black and white and eventually gets all coloured in. But I'm not, I don't know everything and spoilers and stuff, so I don't know the full thing yet. I'm very excited to experience it. <laughs> How cute to all these people! Oh, look at the menu! Okay, here's the water.
apparently a pina colada but not alcoholic and to be honest this is sugar i'm not a fan <laughs> Okay, you know what? The, the bridge, the bridge of a song is the middle part of a song, and you can hear this very same bridge in two songs from the same show. What is the show, and what are the two songs? Here's the bridge. Okay, here's one of the songs. actually went to um, Keys, which is part of the um, After Hours 18 plus um, bit, and that's the one place we hadn't been yet. We'd been to Fathoms, like, which is like more of the nightclub, I guess. Um, we'd also been to... there's another one. I'm so good at this. There's too many places. But yeah, we hadn't been to Keys yet, and it was uh, my favourite because like there was um, a man called Tim Moss, I want to say, um, who was playing the piano and it was such a chilled out vibe but it was like beautiful like piano detailing around the room and he was playing Disney songs and also had a little microphone and was asking us to like guess the songs and then also he played some Broadway and musical stuff so we had a Phantom of the Opera medley and Les Mis and then when he asked like all the questions I was like Les Mis Arab and top of the class basically and he was really sweet because he did a 45 minute minute set um, and then he had a 15 minute break and we arrived just as his first set finished and then there was another 45 minute set but he actually came around and talked to everyone and he talked to us and was like oh I'm so sorry you arrived at the end and we were like oh, no problem we're staying for the next one and so that was very lovely and um, animator's palette oh, it was the best thing ever like I knew the general vibe of it I knew that it started off black and white and then it gets coloured in throughout the thing but I didn't expect Mickey Mouse in his phantasmic outfit, like Sorcerer's Apprentice hat, whatever you want to call it, pranced out around the tables and oh, it was so good. So that was amazing and I'm glad that we managed to change our parlour reservations because um, we do have another another evening eating animator's palette but it doesn't include the show so it'll just be like already coloured in. <laughs> um, so that was amazing, I was definitely happy with that. I'm trying to think of what else we did. No idea. I think that might have been it. I think we went. We headed straight there after our food. But yeah, it's about um, quarter to twelve, and we're up bright and early in the morning for our room excursion. Room has always been somewhere I've wanted to go. So I'm like actually so excited. And um, it's going to be a long day, so we're going to go to sleep in a bit. And in order to like speed up the process, we've got breakfast booked in for room service tomorrow morning. Very fancy. I'm with my best wife right now. So yes, if you want to see my room adventures, please watch the next part of my Disney Cruise Line adventure. Thank you for watching and please do like, comment and subscribe and all that jazz. And see you tomorrow. <laughs>